Hey there, today I'll be showing you the best iPad accessories. Whether you just got your iPad or aren't really sure which accessories you're looking for to improve your current iPad setup, this video is for you. I'll be going through items in my current iPad accessory setup and ones that I recommend for uses all out there. So let's just get into the video. For those of you wondering which iPad I use, I have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch in space gray. Anyways, my first iPad accessory is the Apple Pencil. I love the Apple Pencil because you can do so much, mainly because it has pressure sensitivity so I can do calligraphy, but if you're taking notes on it for school or meetings, it's definitely a must need and it's such an amazing item. Next are Apple Pencil grips. So, you know, you're writing on your iPad for a long time. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's like this barrel of like metal. So I love having different Apple Pencil grips and it just makes your writing experience more comfortable and writing for long periods of time more enjoyable. And they're super easy to put on. All you gotta do is slide it in and it comes with so many different colors and styles. And for those of you who are worried that it won't snap onto your iPad anymore, it still will and it just makes your entire writing experience much better so I definitely recommend getting one of those but for those of you who don't really want to spend that much on an Apple pencil I highly recommend you check out the Logitech crayon so basically it charges with a cord and all you got to do is turn it on and it automatically connects to your iPad and it's practically the same thing with a few differences first of all it doesn't have pressure sensitivity so you can't do calligraphy so if you're an artist maybe go for the Apple pencil Plus the shape is a bit more rectangular, but otherwise it's basically the same thing. So I highly recommend you check out this alternative. But I'm super duper excited to show you the sponsor of today's video, which is Paperlike. So huge thank you to them. Paperlike is the best screen protector out there. I've been using this for over two months and I'm absolutely loving it for so many reasons. The setup is so simple. It comes with two different screen protectors just in case you mess up. It comes with all the materials, easy instructions, super easy to apply. It has a natural paper sound, which feels very similar to writing on paper. Plus you can write much neater with it. My handwriting looks phenomenal on the paper leg, plus writing on the bare iPad is just slippery and it's just not an enjoyable experience. There's much more resistance to your writing so you have more control, but it won't scratch your Apple Pencil nib since the material is super friendly for Apple Pencils. The Nano Dots technology also reduces glare and fingerprints, so it's perfect for writing, watching videos, sketching, drawing, anything because the paper like is perfect for students, creators, anybody who just loves their iPads, so I highly recommend you check them out, linked in the description. My next iPad accessory must is a foldable iPad case for protection, but also the different angles you can look at it. It's like super flexible and you can do so many things with it, different angles like writing, watching videos, anything you want. However, if you're planning on using your iPad more as a computer, I definitely recommend getting a keyboard case. I like the Logitech Slim Folio mainly because it also comes with a case. So just in case like, you know, you drop it or scratch it and the keyboard is super nice. But if you already have a case and you have a Bluetooth keyboard lying around, you can connect that to the iPad and use it more like a pseudo iPad keyboard type setup. Plus you can also connect a wireless mouse and now you just have this mini computer set up on your iPad which is really great and the mouse just works like a normal mouse but on your iPad. If you're planning on using your iPad as like a full on computer, I definitely recommend getting a USB adapter if you're going to be like downloading a bunch of different documents and videos and you're just going to be transferring lots of data. The next thing I recently got was this camera protector, which is a lifesaver. So if you don't have a case on your iPad and you just use it bare, you might scratch the camera lens. But don't worry, this camera protector is a lifesaver. Basically, you just stick it on like a screen protector, but it's for your camera. It's super easy and it'll just save you in the long run just in case. Also, if you're going to be traveling to school or like carrying around your iPad in places, it's sometimes a bit weird to just carry around your iPad. So it's nice to have a little case to put it in, to put in your backpack. And you can also get a charger case that just stores the adapter. So it's a nice, safe place. I just recommend it for carrying and transporting your iPad around different places. And so my last tip is actually a bonus. You can actually use your iPad as an accessory to your MacBook if you have one and you can do like this 
sidecar thing and go into settings and it just like makes it so you have two screens from your computer and you can like multitask and be extra productive anyway that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and thank you to paperlike again for sponsoring this video if you really like this video check out some of my other ipad videos right here bye